Hey, Michael. Recently, someone told me that they think romance novels, movies, etc., are as bad to women as porn is to men. While these two are not on the same level for obvious reasons, it did make me think about the TikTok trend talking about the appeal of men written by women. Do you think growing up watching movies like Pride and Prejudice and the Titanic gives women unrealistic hopes? Uh, that is, do I need to leave the romance to fiction and just settle down with someone practical? No, I don't think so. I, I, I think we live in a culture right now where men have been particularly degraded by the educational system, by the culture, by the licentiousness throughout the society that's now tolerated by the government and, and by women who are willing to uh, give them the milk for free. And so they have no <laughs> particular incentive, uh, at least at the material level, to, uh, to go by the cow. So I don't think it's wrong for women to aim for something higher than just some loaf, couch, potato, idiot man who has no ambition and just eats potato chips all day. I, I think you can aim higher. But, but the one thing I would recommend is maybe you want your Mr. Darcy, to use your Pride and Prejudice reference. You want a man like Mr. Darcy. But don't make an idol out of Mr. Darcy. I'm actually going to take it out of the realm of romance for a second and put it into the realm of your career. This might be a little easier to understand. People have heroes. People, when they think about their life and their career, they say, I want to be like Ronald Reagan. I want to be like, uh, I don't know, Elon Musk. I want to be like Donald Trump. I want to be and that's good. It's good to have those goals in mind and to say, okay, he did this, so maybe I should do something like this or this, that, or the other thing. But you can't just replicate someone else's career. You're not just going to be Ronald Reagan and do all the things Ronald Reagan did. Or you're not just going to do all the things Elon Musk did. You're not just going to, you're not going to get exactly Mr. Darcy. Okay. It's good to have the, these virtues in mind and these good habits in mind and these good attributes in mind. But when you make an idol out of them, then you really are living in a fantasy and then you really will be disappointed. 40 years ago, Ronald Reagan saw massive inflation unlike anything the country had ever seen before until today. In Reagan's own words, inflation is as violent as a mugger, as frightening as an armed robber, and as deadly as a hitman. Well, I can't tell. That was either uh, Ronald Reagan or John Voight. I'm not sure which voice that was. Right now, your retirement accounts are under attack thanks to the inflationary policies of this administration. If you have not yet called Birch Gold the only people that I trust to help you diversify your 401ks and IRAs into gold, then you are missing the boat. Actually, you're treading water without a life vest. Birch Gold has your life vest. Let them help you convert an IRA or 401k into a tax sheltered IRA in gold. With thousands of satisfied customers and an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, you can trust Birch Gold to protect your savings. Right now, text Knowles, K N O W L E S, to 989898 to get a free info kit on gold. Reagan knew the biggest threat to your wealth. Protect yours now. Text Knowles, K N O W L E S, to 989898 to get your free info kit now. Did you like that clip? I'm glad. Ring the bell, please. That way you'll get notifications. And then, because sometimes you don't get notifications, head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Subscribe to The Michael Knowles Show. Leave a five-star review. We will see you next time. <laughs>